I am sharing my vegetable biryani recipe. Let's get cooking. You will need onions, tomatoes, potato, carrots, peas, ginger garlic paste, yogurt is optional, salt, and a spice mixture, oil, the ingredients for the spice mixture, mixture will be listed down below. In a medium sized pot, heat oil and add the chopped onions. Now we are going to cook the onions until they get golden brown. That will take about 5 to 10 minutes on a medium heat. Once the onions are golden, add the ginger garlic paste and cook for a few more seconds. Now we are going to add our chopped onions and salt and we are going to cook this mixture for a few more seconds. Once everything is mixed together, we are going to add about 1 fourth cup of water. Cover the pot with lid and cook the mixture for 3 to 4 minutes. Once that is cooked, the tomatoes will break down and will get soft. Add the spice mixture and mix well. Once everything is mixed together, you are going to add your potatoes and give it a good mix. We are going to cook the potatoes first because they take the longest time to cook compared to carrots and peas. Add about 1 4th cup of more water and mix and cover with lid. Now we are going to cook the potatoes until they are more than half done. Now add the carrots and the peas to the potato mixture and mix well. You can add a bit of water if you think your mixture is really getting dry. Mix everything well together and cover with lid. We are going to cook this until the potatoes are fully cooked and the carrots are soft. At this point you can add the yogurt but if you are vegan you can omit this part or you can add plant based yogurt it just makes the gravy a little more creamier. The first part of vegetable biryani is done. For the second part you will need 3 cups of rice in a bowl. Add the rice to the bowl and wash the rice 3 to 4 times and then leave the rice in the water for at least half an hour. In a large pot, take water, add about 1 tablespoon of salt, cover with lid and then we are going to boil the water. Once the water is boiling, drain the rice and add the rice to the boiling water. We are going to cook this rice until it becomes soft but it shouldn't lose its shape. We don't want mushy rice. Once the rice is cooked, we are going to drain all the water and keep it to the side. Your second part of vegetable biryani is done. We have our boiled rice, the vegetables cooked, chopped coriander, lemon slices, lemon juice, food color and water. I have one tablespoon of lemon juice and I'm adding two to three tablespoons of water. Now we are going to add about tiny pinch of orange food coloring and mix everything well together. This is optional. This just adds a bit of different color to the rice. Now take about one to one and a half cup of boiled rice and layer it in the pot. Add a layer of the cooked vegetables. Once that is done, we are going to top this off with our food color. Just a few drizzles and top it off with some onion slices and coriander. Now we are going to repeat these layers with rice, 
cooked vegetables, the food color, lemon slices, and coriander. Keep repeating the layers until everything is finished. Add the final garnishing and we are going to cook this on a low heat for about 15 minutes. Cover with lid. Now we are going to mix everything together and fluff the rice. And your biryani is ready to be served. Serve this with a side of salad. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the like button.